I love living in a world where Pokemon Sword and Shield have been revealed. We can finally get past all the speculation and rumors and focus on what we actually know. One of the big questions we had going into the Pokemon Direct was just how different Gen 8 was going to look from what came before. Would it maintain the same graphics and style we saw in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee late last year? That was honestly one of my biggest fears. While I loved what Let's Go did with its art style, it was the best looking Pokemon game ever. I wanted to see something different. Today we are taking a look at both games side by side and talking about just how different they actually are. Before we get started though, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, maybe even hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future Pokemon and other Nintendo related content. Also, leave some feedback in the comments letting us know what you think so we can have a discussion with you. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the games here. We're going to be checking out trailers for both of them, the reveal trailer for both of them, even though the reveal trailers are very different stylistically. We have let's go starting with Pokemon Go and then we have Pokemon Gen 8 Sword and Shield just starting with gameplay. Regardless, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about here is the overall character design. This is the best look I could get at both models here for Let's Go and Sword and Shield. All right. So as you can see, the characters from Sword and Shield don't even look that different from the ones in Let's Go. They are a little bit taller and a little less stocky. Uh, you see the Let's Go image right there. The arms are thicker. The torso is like not quite as big. You're nowhere near as tall. I'm assuming that maybe you just you're younger in the game or whatever. It doesn't necessarily have a lot to do with gameplay or anything like that. But it's just an interesting little difference that you can see that we're taller, we're obviously a little bit older, and we've been hitting the gym a little bit. We're dressed way cooler. If you can see there, we are wearing the sweater over our shirt, but the shirt's like still hanging. You see the green there? The hat in Sword and Shield is way cooler as well. I really didn't like the hats in Let's Go at all, but enough about these character designs because this is like very subtle. You look a little cooler in Gen 8. I'm happy for that, but there will be more differences as we go along. Next up, I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences we see here in the town and the building that we see here. All right, first off, the grass, way more detailed in Gen 8. We see that sword and shield, you can actually see grass. And let's go, you can see some, especially in the bushes, a little bit here and there, but it's just this overall like green palette and yeah, there's shades of green, but you really can't see any detail. There's no texture to it. And Gen 8, we see way more texture, even the like, bushes in the background of let's go nowhere near as detailed as the tree that we see here in gen 8 for the houses as well you see so much more detail with leaves growing on the roof and around the doors as opposed to the one in let's go where it's very simplistic and yes maybe there are different buildings in let's go that aren't as simplistic but this is just a really good example of how visually both of them are way more different than you might think they are right off the bat i think if you just take a quick glance at the character designs you're like hey that's the same but there are these differences here that make a huge, huge impact. Next up, I want to take a look at water. And to me, this illustrates just how much better Gen 8 looks than Let's Go. Because yes, you can say, hey, they look super similar. And I've seen that kind of complaint a little bit out there. But as you can see, the water in Sword and Shield looks realistic as opposed to the water that is in Let's go, look, they've had way more time to work on Gen 8, I understand that. But this image here, to me, is a perfect example of how much of a graphical leap the game is making. I think it kind of goes understated, if I'm honest. So while so much of it does look similar, this is a really good example of the upgrade that we are actually getting. And clearly Game Freak likes to add a certain type of shot to their trailers. Here we see a trainer just walking through the grass. The grass looks way better in Gen 8. But not only that, notice how the camera zooms in on Pikachu when the battle is starting. Now I don't know if that's just done for dramatic effects for the trailer or that's how it's going to be with every single battle. But the transition here from just walking the grass to battle itself is way improved in my opinion. It adds a little bit of movement and some flair that isn't otherwise there. We just see Pidgey with the call there, making the sound, knowing that you're about to get into battle. And then we see Pikachu just kind of hanging out there. So another way that some visual flair, some movement, you see the blades of grass moving all over as the camera zooms in. And while we're at Pikachu, let's actually pop in Pikachu from Let's Go and compare them a bit. 
And I gotta give credit to Twitter user BigPop420 for this image. He posted it and I said, wow, that's a really good comparison of what Pikachu looks like in both Let's Go and Gen 8. You see Pikachu looks a little thinner, ever so slightly. There are some shaders there. You see a shadow on him there that you don't otherwise see in Let's Go. Again, small nuance differences, but they are definitely there. His face is a little more pronounced as well. The next thing I wanna look at is this battle little montage we have here where various Pokemon are doing moves and you can see all the extra detail that is in Gen 8. We have way more particles, the water looks way cooler. When Lucario is attacking, you see the impact of dust flying when the attack lands. So much of that was just missing in Let's Go and I'm glad that they are bringing it to the forefront. I'm even gonna slow it down a little bit here so you guys can see it with a little bit more detail. If you pay attention, there are a lot of little nuances there that I'm a big fan of. And honestly, the attacks in Let's Go look really good too. There is like particle effects and, and all of that, but it just seems like they are done to the next degree with Sword and Shield. In making this video, it kind of hit me that these two trailers, the introduction trailers, the announcement trailers for both games are actually eerily similar. Here we have the inside of a cave of some kind. You see in Gen 8, there are gemstones all over. It's way darker, which kind of makes sense for a cave. The lighting is like way more dynamic and different as you go. In uh, Let's Go, it's just kind of all the same color for the most part. And there's gonna be some differences here and there, but here, just another perfect illustration of the jump up that they've done visually. So there you have it, a visual comparison of what both Switch Pokemon games look like. Clearly there has been a jump up and that makes me really, really happy to see. I can't wait to see what other surprises lay waiting with Sword and Shield. Nothing that Let's Go does compares to some of the scope. We see these huge cities with like towers that are gigantic. We don't see too much of that in Let's Go. I know there's a certain gym in Let's Go that's all towers, but this is a little more cinematic, honestly, and I'm really happy with the direction that they went in. Let us know in the comments below if you are happy with the visual upgrades and just stylistically what you think of Sword and Shield. How excited are you now that you see just how different they look? Again, sound off in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed for more Pokemon and Nintendo related content. We appreciate each and every single one of you. Twitter link is in the description. Follow us for giveaways and more shenanigans and we will catch you on the next one. Switch Force out.